I think the whole staying program is an integral part of English, Irish and French racing. They tend to have a longer career, they tend to be around longer for the public to see and people do become attached to them. They become old friends because they are around for, for so many years. The stayers are like my friends and family, they're willing to go that extra mile. You know, people have this concept that if they're stayers they're slow. They're not, they're very, very good horses, they're not slow horses. My pressure is, is making a living. I'd love to be breeding stayers, but it's very, very expensive to do that because they're much harder to sell. They're less attractive at, in, at the yearling sales, sadly. But I would love to be able to, to have an excuse to breed, to breed more staying animals. It is quite frustrating trying to, to find those races for uh, the staying two-year-old. And I personally think it's very, very important to offer these horses an opportunity uh, as two-year-olds without them going to France. You know, there are staying two-year-old races right up to group one level in France, and we don't have them here. And he should be proud as well. What an outstanding staying performance. The Golden Slipper, it's got a lot to answer for. It's the richest two-year-old race in the world. So therefore, the breeders breed the speed horses. So someone has to miss out and unfortunately it's the stayer. We've already seen the impact of the decline in popularity of staying breeding with more and more people breeding for that quick return despite the fact that, that Derby winning sires have still dominated at the top end of the, the market. There's just less demand for them and to my mind it's a great pity. It's what we can excel in in this country. It's one of our unique selling points and we shouldn't be letting it decline. If you take away staying horses, you wind up with a very, very limited program. And I, I think also a very monotonous program. The classic stallions from the staying families are absolutely vital to our industry. And if we don't have this, what's going to happen is people will start breeding to speedier type mares. And we will have the same situation that they have in the United States, which is what has happened with Seattle slew line mares. They've been bred to speedier families, and now they don't possess any stamina at all. And I'm absolutely persuaded that, that is exactly what's going to happen here. If there is a decline coming upon us, and these races are going to be under threat, and therefore the the, the breeding of, of, of horses that have the ability to stay are going to be in decline, that the whole thing is going to fall apart. Any decline in this would, I think, would be a tragedy. The programme must be kept well to held together for both three-year-olds and older horses. We know the Older Horse Cup programme. But I think for the three-year-olds, the downgrading of the Queen's Vars was a lamentable move. Those races have got to be there for us to bring those horses through. You can't just sort of eliminate one or keep downgrading them because then you will take away possibly the most fascinating uh, dimension of, of, of British racing. You might think as Ascot we would only want one Group 1 uh, stayers race, but that's, that's not the case. We, we need to, to encourage horses to be aimed for these races, and, and the only way to do that is, is to have races like the Goodwood Cup seriously looked at for promotion. Um, and only if there, is a, if there is a strong pattern to support the Gold Cup can the Gold Cup continue to, to, to maintain and perhaps even enhance its quality. Got to jump a fence. You still need the big brave horse, and it needs supply. It will. It will have to be supplied. And we must be very thankful to the owner breeder who was a diminishing, nearly, well not extinct obviously, but the owner breeder for having those mares trying to breed a top class mile and a half horse, in the knowledge that a lot of them will not. Be. Without those owner breeders, we would be in trouble. We've got to recognise the worth of these races, maintain them for what we are, We've got to get the Queen's Vaz back to where it was and maintain the programme for stairs as it was and recognise the value of these horses to British racing and British breeding. Mm -hmm.